Welcome to Chibuzo Math Physics. My name is Augustine and I will be taking you through on the system of equations uh, by substitution quadratic uh, and the other method including imaginary numbers. Uh, at times students are confused when they are given equations or problems uh, that involve imaginary numbers. So I will be showing you uh, how to handle these kind of problems and I hope you will enjoy it. Let us uh, jump into it. Assuming you are given the equation x plus 3 divided by 4 is equals to x minus 3 divided by 5 plus 2. Uh, basically, this kind of uh, equation that involves fraction uh, is a bit trick to uh, some people. Uh, however, it is even very simple and easy compared to other linear and simultaneous equation. Let us look at it. Uh, first of all, we look for a common number that is divisible by the denominator. Uh, as we see, we are having 4, 5, and uh, here we have just 2. Uh, let us assume that this 2 has a denominator that it is 1. So we will have 2 divided by 1 as our denominator. Uh, it means that our, uh, the number that we can uh, actually multiply with the denominator will be uh, 20 because 4 multiplied by 5 is 20 and we know that 20 is divisible by 4 and it is divisible by 5. So if we use 20 we will have, uh, we just need to divide 4 by 20 we get 5 and we divide 5 by 20 we get uh, 4 and we will end up with this. Remember, we are multiplying uh, this uh, uh, whatever value we got from this division, four, uh, 4 and 5, our denominator, with denominator. So we will have 5, we still have x plus 3 is equal to 4, and we are still having x minus 3 uh, plus 40, because 20 multiplied by 2 will give us 40. So that's how we got this. Now we can open the bracket, and if we open the bracket, we will end up with 5x plus uh, 15 because 5 multiplied by x, we have 5x. 5 multiplied by 3, you have 15. And this is equals to 4 by 3. 4 by x is 4x minus 4 times 3 is negative 12 plus 40. Uh, from here, we collect the like terms. Those that are having uh, x values, we bring them together so that we will end up with 5x minus 4x is equals to 40 minus 12 uh, minus 15. Of course, this 15, when it crosses to this side, it will become negative. So we will end up with x is equals to 13. And that is how to do it. It is as simple as that. Uh, let us consider the second example. Assuming you are given this uh, uh, kind of uh, equation that uh, you are having two equations, and uh, in this kind of equation, you will end up with uh, two x values. First of all, since we have 3x plus y is equals to 2 in our equation 2, we solve for y. So we make y the subject so that we end up with 2 uh, minus 3x because when we take this 3x, which is positive, to this side, it will become uh, negative. So that's how we have a, y is equals to 2 minus 3x. At this point, we substitute equation 2 in equation 1, of course, uh, this is uh, our equation 2. We have transformed our equation 2 uh, by y to be equal to 2 minus 3x. Uh, we substitute this equation in equation y. So we will have 2x minus 3. And this is our y now. We simply need to plug in our y in equation uh, 1 and then continue from there. So this is what we have. Uh, 2 x which is equation 1 minus 3 and our y now is 2 minus 3 x which is equal to 5. Now we can expand the bracket so that we end up with 2 x minus 3 uh, plus 9 x is equal to 5. Uh, of course we got 2 x, we have 2 x here, negative 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 plus uh, negative 3 multiplied by 3 uh, negative 3 will give us positive 9 because negative negative will give us positive. So we have 9x is equals to 5. 
now we can collect the like term so that we have 2x plus 9x is equals to 5 plus 6. Of course, 2x plus 9x will give us 11x and uh, 5 plus 6 will give us 11. So that we divide both sides by 11 and we end up with x is equals to 1. Now we can substitute the value of x in y, which is uh, now in our equation 2. If we do that, this is our y. So if we substitute x in that in this equation, we simply have y is equal to 2 minus 3. Remember, we got 1 as our x. So we put x in that equation so that we will end up with y to be equal to negative 1. So our two answers here is y is equal to uh, 2 minus 3, which will give us negative 1 as our y, and our x is simply 1. So the answer is 1 and negative 1. And that is how we deal with this kind of equation. So let us consider the third example. We are having 2x squared plus 11x plus 12 is equal to 0. When you are given this kind of equation, what you need to do is to find the product and the sum. And uh, the product normally is the first number multiplied by the last number. And we have 2 and we have 12. So 2 multiplied by 12 will simply give you 24. That's why we have product is 24. And the sum is just the middle number, which is positive 11. Of course, the two numbers uh, to find the product and the sum of these will be 8 and 3 because 8 multiplied by 3 will give us 24 and 8 plus 3 will give us 11. So now that we can proceed, we simply plug in our 8 and 3 in this equation so that we have 2x squared plus 8x plus 3x then plus 2f is equals to 0. Of course, we do factoring. If we factor out, we can just look at this number. We have 2 and we have 8. We know that uh, uh, 2 multiplied by 4 will give us 8. So we simply factor out 2 so that we have 2x into x plus 4. Of course, if you open this bracket, you will have 2x uh, multiplied by x will give us 2x squared. 2 multiplied by 4 will give us 8x. So that's why we have 2x into x plus 4. The second bracket will be, we factor out 3, so that we have 3 into x plus 4 is equals to 0. Of course, 3 multiplied by s will give us this value, 3x, and 3 multiplied by 4 will give us 12. So this is what we have now. At this point, we can pick the, the one inside the bracket and the one outside the bracket, so that we end up with 2x plus 3 and x plus 4 which is equal to 0. We can now solve for x. And to solve for x, we simply solve uh, this bracket separately, and we solve the second bracket separately. But now we equate all the, the brackets individually with 0, so that we have 2x plus 3 will give us 0. Now we divide both sides by 2. If we divide both sides by 2, so that we are left with x, we have x will be negative 3 over 2 because 2 by 2 we go and we are left with negative 3 over 2 as our first value of x. Now the second value of x we simply need to solve uh, by opening the other bracket. We equate it to 0 and if we equate x plus 4 to be 0 our x will simply be negative 4 because when this positive 4 uh, if we take it to the uh, uh, if we take it to the right hand side, it will become negative four. So our x value will be negative three over two or negative four. And to make sure that you confirm your answer, you can even use your calculator and uh, prove that your answer is correct. So this is just a simple way to do it. Why we don't uh, depend on the calculator is sometimes your teacher or lecturer require you to solve this equation without the use of calculator. So you should be able to know how to solve it. And uh, even with your calculator, you will be able to confirm that your answer is correct. Uh, let us uh, consider the next example. 
Assuming that you are given this equation, x plus 5 divided by 3 plus x uh, divided by 2. First of all, like we do in the first equation, we look for a common number that is divisible by the denominator. Then we multiply it with the denominator. And that number is 6 uh, because we know that uh, 6 is divisible by 3 and it is divisible by 2. Now we simply divide 3 by 6, we give us 2 and 2 by 6 we give us 3 so that we end up with 2 uh, into the denominator, denominator which is x plus 5 plus 3 which is 2 divided by 6 we give us 3 into the denominator which is x at this point we can now expand the bracket if we expand the bracket we will end up with 2 multiplied by x is 2x plus 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 and then 3 multiplied by x is 3x. So 2x plus 10 plus 3x. Uh, 2x plus 3x is 5x. And then we have plus 10. And this is our final answer. Let us consider the final example. Of course, this example, we have equations and numbers that uh, contains imaginary number. As I said from the beginning, uh, sometimes we see this kind of equation that involve imaginary number. You don't need to get scared when you meet this kind of equation. You simply know the uh, need to apply the patterns and the concept and you are good to go. When you have this, you first of all open the first bracket because we can see that 1 by, divided by 4 is being multiplied by this bracket uh, minus this bracket. So to open this bracket, we divide by 4. Of course, 4 divided by 8 will give us 2, and 4 divided by 8i will give us um, 2i. i simply means imaginary, imaginary number, so that we end up with 2 plus 2i minus 2 plus 3i. Of course, we got 2 plus 2i from this first uh, bracket because we divided 4 by 8 and we get 2, and we divided 4 by 8i and we get 2i minus this other bracket which is 2 uh, minus minus we become plus so that's why we have this positive sign we have distributed this negative sign to give us positive so this is what we have if we collect the light terms we end up with negative 2 minus 2 plus 2i uh, plus 3i of course 2 minus 2 is 0 so we are left with 2 plus 3 which is 5i and this is our final answer and this is just a simple way that we deal with uh, uh, systems of equations that involve imaginary numbers or equations that involve fractions or dealing with uh, you trying to apply substitution method and that's uh, that's just simple as that and you're good to go i hope you have enjoyed this video do well to subscribe to this channel so that you'll be notified as we upload our subsequent uh, videos uh, have a blessed day.